Hi, my name is Dave and I'd like to introduce you to my own design of a Stirling motor which has three features that I've never seen on any other Stirling before. The first feature is the system I'm using to make an airtight seal between this glass heating unit and the aluminum cooling unit. I'm using two O-rings spaced apart about 12 millimeters with aluminum rings and the inside diameter of the O-rings is slightly less than that of the outside diameter of the glass so that you have to stretch them over the glass. So as you can see that was a slip fit but now by tightening the nut you are squeezing the O-rings in a horizontal direction making them grow vertically and pressing against the glass and against the aluminum making a perfect seal. As long as you don't get any fat or oil on the O-rings this seal should work perfectly. The second feature is uh, inside of the glass most or all of the uh, sterlings I've seen using glass heating units also use a glass piston inside of the heating unit. I've made this one out of aluminum to give you a kind of a better uh, optical impression of what's going on inside the engine. Okay, so and now the third feature is here um, all, of the, you, all of the motors I've seen so far using two flywheels have them on one shaft rotating in the same direction. So I thought, well, I'd just offset these two using two shafts connected with gears, causing them to rotate in different or in opposite directions. And they're connected with these gears here. I don't know if you can see them very well. The gears are here. Okay, so those are the three features, and I'd say, well, enough of this technical stuff, let's see if it works. It works. <laughs> I just love this stuff. <laughs> 